Well, let's back up a little bit too in the story when you were growing the business from the garage to the uh, you know the billion dollar level. How were you as a father during that time? You got kids, right? Like, like, do you feel like you like did you balance that pretty well, or was that out of balance a lot, or where where yeah. were you at? Because that's something that a lot of people, especially like in my case with little kids, yeah. were dealing with. In fact, every conversation I've had on this podcast now has gone to that at some <laughs> point. So I'm like. Yep. There's clearly something here in my head about it. Yeah. So, you know, God bless me with four kids, yeah. two boys and two girls. They're literally a year apart. There's a time we used to say one, two, three, four. Um, and, and outside of my business, it was really my family. Sadly, at the time, I had to travel. Like 80% of my time I was living mm -hmm. out of a suitcase and, and hotel rooms. Um, but when I was home, 100% I, of my time was dedicated to, to, to my family. Um, I made it a point, especially on their birthdays. I never miss a birthday. Mm. Um, and, you know, mom will take them to school and dad will go an hour later. I will pluck them out and I would just, it would just be me and them, you know, just for the rest of the day. I've always given them my undivided attention and made each person, each one of my kids feel incredibly special uh, because they're all fighting for your attention. And, and that allowed me to, to do that. And of course, we all always had our family time. But, you know, I, I will tell you this, Brandon, um, you know, when, when the doctors would walk in and, 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 and tell me, I'm so sorry, there's just nothing we could do. In that moment in time, I, would, I, I never thought about, man, look, look at all the money I have in my bank mm -hmm. or look at all the houses I own or look at all these exotic cars. I wish I did more. I wish I invested more. You know what I wish for that? I miss the point. It's like, man, I, I wish I was there when my son hit the home run and I was able to cheer him on. Yeah. Or when my little baby girl fell down and I was there to comfort her. Or my wife needed a husband and I wasn't there for her. Th th those are the moments in my life that kind of really were defining moments. And that's what I would tell the audience, man, that there's nothing more precious and more beautiful than when you give your life and you give your attention to your family. There's yeah. just nothing, because that's all, at the end of the day, that's all that matters. That's where your joy and that's where your happiness and that's where you, your peace, your inner peace will always come from, from your mm -hmm. family. That's good, man. Yeah, it reminds me of that, that quote they were saying, like, I don't know who first said it, but the idea of, you know, people say they will die for their family. Like, I die yeah. for my kids. I die for my wife. I die. Yeah, good for you. Will you live for them? Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's so like, true. Yeah, you, so can, true. you can do all that want, but you're not showing that you're even living for them. So, so. it's true. Yeah, so just that, yeah. You know, my dad, when we were growing up, one of my earliest memories uh, my dad would come and pick us up from school one at a time. So we were, had four kids in my family too. And so one each day, each month. And I didn't realize as a kid, I didn't realize that, you know, it just it was every Thursday he would come on his day off and he would pick up us from school, would come and pl pluck us out of school or out of like lunch. Uh, and he would take us to McDonald's. We just go have McDonald's yep. and I go back. And it was such a normal thing right now. Now I'm looking, I'm like, that would have been like annoying. Like he worked, you know, 60 hours a week at one day off and he spent it every single day, every single week off, he'd go take his kid out to lunch. Like he didn't go to the, the golf course or to the spa or you know any of that stuff. Yep. He just went and took his kids to lunch every single week. Uh, I choke up thinking about it. I'm like, that's a sacrifice. Like, and that was him being like, look, I I have to put in a lot of hours. He's a meat cutter or yep. a butcher, and he's like, I, this is time I get one on one to show my kids that. And I never thought like, yeah, I never like because of that. In fact, like you know, we interviewed uh, Steve Chu on this episode earlier, where we were talking about a similar uh, topic about. Like being there when you're there, yeah, being there, like yep. you know, it's 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 being fully present in that moment with your kids, yep. and that's such a powerful thing. And that, like, even if it's not, you know, six hours of playing Legos, it's that hour once a week of lunch made a difference. So but, it's true. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so 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 true. Because I mean, I, my kids share that with me, and 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 look, nothing brings me more joy than when my kids remind me of something that we did mm. that maybe I've forgotten about. And, and it just, it's, it's those memories that really truly make a difference and, yeah. and, and reminds me that I need to do more of it. And to your point, I, I've seen so many people, you know, it's like, Hey baby, how was your day? You know? And then they're watching the, yeah. you know, the football games, like go oh, 49ers. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they're not even, they're not even present. And, yeah. And if you're not present for her, someone else is going to be. Yeah. Ooh. And and that's the truth. Um, um, and the same thing for your kids, man. You know, just that there's, you know, I look back and it, they're the greatest blessing that God could ever possibly bless us with. And, and, you know, this is not about us being selfish. This is always about us sacrificing and, and doing what we feel is righteous in our heart. But yeah. there's no greater feeling than when you have that peace and you come home and you see your family, 